Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to today's video. I thought it would be fun to take a step back from all of the product reviews. I feel like there are so many freaking foundations launching. I am like, what the heck? Today it was like the Milk Makeup Flex Stick Foundation launched. Um, ABH just launched their foundation. Pat McGrath, I think Smashbox has a new one. There are just so many foundations that I feel like my channel for a moment is going to be turning into like a foundation review channel. So I kind of wanted to cut through that for just a moment and bring you guys something a little bit different because I literally have three foundations on deck. I'm debating on one of them, but I can tell you for sure the three that will be coming full review wear tests. One I have right in front of me is the Pat McGrath foundation. Skin Fetish, this one just launched. I had a little bit of a debacle, ordered the wrong shade. Now I have it. That's why that video hasn't gone up yet. I literally just got my correct shade today. I picked up the new Fresh foundation, I think, it, or Flesh, that's it. The Flesh Beauty, that brand that kind of launched, I think it was like a year ago at Ulta. Anyways, picked up that one. And then obviously I also picked up the new ABH Luminous, their new Luminous Skin Foundation. So there's gonna be a ton of foundation reviews coming your way. So thumbs up this video if you are excited for that. Leave a comment down below on which one you are most excited to see. But nonetheless, I am going to share with you guys today my ultimate no makeup makeup routine. Most of the time, you guys, I don't have a ton of time. I work 10 hour days and when I get up in the morning, I'm pretty exhausted. I really don't have the time to really sit down, putz around, put on a full face of just intense makeup, but I still wanna look good and feel my best at work. I thought that this might be a little bit helpful. It'll kind of give you an insight into a makeup routine that I feel like we don't see a ton, if I'm being honest. I feel like not a lot of people talk about really true no makeup makeup routines, and I'm obsessed. This is something that I do more often than not, than, than that, of course I can't speak, more often than not. This is just so simple, so easy, and I feel like it just complements the natural beauty. So that's what this is all is about. This is very basic, very easy. So the first thing I'm gonna start off with is from Glossier. This is their stretch concealer. I have mine in the shade G8. Now for no makeup makeup looks, this is my absolute favorite. I love something that I can use that is potted like this, that I can stick my finger in and just start to blend. And I start from the under eyes and I kind of work my way out. I also feel like sometimes using my fingers kind of helps, not necessarily with lymphatic drainage, but it just kind of helps like depuff and get the circulation going in my skin. And I kind of work in like motions that I know will help benefit that. So I just kind of start with this and I put it really anywhere. I feel like I'm more red and I just start to work that in. Now, obviously you can apply this with a finger and then go in with a sponge and blend it out. But for me, this is just super simple. Now, obviously I always start with clean hands. That is key. I never want to stick dirty hands into a pot like this. It just breeds bacteria. You don't want to do that. So make sure your hands and your skin is clean. So obviously I have cleansed, moisturized, done everything. So as you can see, this offers coverage, but it's not super intense. It's literally like your skin, but better. It's a very natural skin finish. It's not matte. It's not necessarily overly luminous, but it's like a very sheer medium coverage and it just blends out beautifully. I pretty much end up applying this all over my face, depending on my redness. So as you can see, my complexion is really starting to even out, but it doesn't really look like I'm wearing much makeup. And that is the best part about this base. It's very simple. Now you could use the NARS creamy potted concealers. If you wanted to just use a normal traditional concealer, you could do that too. A sheer coverage tinted moisturizer is awesome. You know, you could use a combination of the two, use a tinted moisturizer and then pick up the pieces with a concealer like this to kind of use where you need a little bit more coverage. So next, we're gonna go ahead and kind of set this down. I'm gonna dip into yet another Glossier product. This is the Wouter. This is in the shade G8 to G10. The reason why I like this powder in particular for this look is because it gives you a very poreless finish without taking away the natural luminosity of the skin. It just kind of sets everything down. So I'm gonna take my Morphe E41 large powder brush and I'm just gonna tap this all over the face. It just helps blur, 
and gives everything a more completed look. So as you can see, it's just kind of like set everything down. It's like your skin, but better. We are going to use a bit of bronzer. For this, I'm gonna be dipping into my Fenty Shady Biz Bronzer. You guys, this is like my whole Holy Grail, absolute favorite. I'm gonna take my Morphe Jaclyn Hill brush, this is a JH04, dip into this, and just start to blend a little bit of bronzer here, kind of contouring, kind of using this as a blush, but to just add a little bit of warmth to the face. This brush is awesome because it's just dense enough to deposit a good amount of product, but it also offers some awesome blending, and it's like the perfect shape to really get just like this doesn't cover too much surface area. It's awesome. Perfect, now you can go in with a little bit of blush if you would like to. Usually I don't, I usually just stick with just this right here, and then I go right into the highlight. So I'm gonna take my ColourPop Super Shock Cheek. This is in the shade Thimble. This is just like my go-to highlight right now. It's like the perfect champagne gold shade. Absolutely stunning. I talk about this highlight on my channel a lot. Like it just looks so beautiful and natural. Well, as natural as a highlighter could look. I just take my fingers again and I just dab that onto the cheeks. And I kind of bring it downward almost to the apple of my cheek to really give like that intense shine and glow. And I literally just tap my finger into this a couple of times, follow my natural cheekbone here and just dab that right on. Sometimes if I really don't have time, I even skip all the face products and I'll just dab some of this right on top of my moisturizer. Gorgeous. Put a little bit down the nose. I love to highlight like right here at the top of the bridge of my nose and on the tip of my nose. All right, so now let's focus on the eyes. I'm gonna go back into my stretch concealer and I'm gonna conceal my eyes. I do have a lot of pigmentation on my eyes. There they're very red. I don't know why I get a lot of eczema right here. And the reason why I usually do this last is because I don't want a ton of creasing. I want this to look fresh because I am going to contour the eyes just a bit. And this concealer is a little bit more on the hydrating side. So it doesn't exaggerate any of the dryness or any of my eczema. Back into the Glossier Wouter just to set down my eyes and to make sure that, that concealer doesn't crease. All right, so moving on to brows. It, again, it's really gonna depend on the time I have in the morning. Sometimes I just use a little bit of Glossier Boy Brow and just fill in my brows that way. Sometimes I go in with my Kai Brow from Kylie Cosmetics. Sometimes I use a combination of both. A lot of you also have asked about my brow routine and you guys, I swear it's really not a difficult routine. <laughs> my brows, I feel like I struggle with a lot and I don't do a ton to them. We're gonna use both products today. So I'm going to go in with the Kai Brow. This is in the shade Ebony. And I'm going to go in with a very light hand and I just start by sweeping in the center of the brows just to kind of start filling everything in. Again, I don't want a super intense carved out brow. We want things to look as natural as possible. Very light feathery motions. I just kind of get the shape of my brow going. Fill in where it's pretty sparse. You guys, I need a brow wax so bad. I haven't done one in so long. I'm gonna go ahead and brush this out again with the spoolie. Now we're gonna go in with the boy brow. This is in the shade brown. This is hands down the best like brush in brow product ever. It doesn't leave like that weird like deposit of color on the skin underneath. It like grabs only onto the brow hairs and just makes everything look so volumized and feathery and uniform and filled in. It just like completes the look. Especially if you're more of a natural gal, you would love this brow product. All right, so now that brows are on, let's go ahead and contour the eyes. So I'm gonna go right back into my bronzer. We're dipping into the Fenty Shady Biz and I'm gonna take my Morphe Jaclyn Hill brush. This is the JH31 and I'm just gonna pick some of that product up on my brush. I'm just gonna go ahead and just deposit that right into the crease. And then I'm just gonna put this on the outer corner just to create a little bit more depth and dimension. I'll take a more pencil shaped brush. This is the JH38. Again, dipping into the Fenty bronzer and I'm just gonna drag that lightly on the lower lash line just to 
again, give my eyes some shape. Now for a little bit of shimmer and a pop of color on the lid, I'm gonna take one of my loose pigments from ABH. This is in the shade Sand. Talked a ton about this on my channel before. Now you can use this wet if you wanna get like a more intense look, but I'm just gonna pick some up on my finger and I'm just gonna brush that all over the lid just to add a little bit of glow, nothing too intense. I'm gonna go back in with that same pencil brush, pick up more of that loose pigment and just put that right in the corners, the inner corners, right along the brow bone. All right, so the last thing I wanna do is I'm gonna take this Makeup Geek Nude Liner. It's literally called Nude. I'm gonna put this in the waterline just to open up the eyes a bit more. I'm gonna curl my lashes. And we're gonna go in with a little bit of roller lash. This is my favorite, absolute favorite, everyday mascara. It just lengthens and separates. It just is so good one of my favorite mascaras of all time. All right, so there's that, eyes are finished. Now when it comes to lips, it can go either way for me. Sometimes I like a gloss, sometimes I like a very light lipstick. Today, I'm gonna go in with a very light lipstick. I am obsessed with these ColourPop Just A Tint Lip Crayons. I'm gonna take the shade Cherry Pickin'. These are like the easiest lip products ever. All right, and last but not least, let's use some setting spray. Urban Decay All Nighter, you guys, I haven't used this in so long. I picked this up a week ago and I am obsessed once again. It's been so long since I've used this, but this is quickly becoming a holy grail, especially on days that I work. It just makes any type of makeup that I have on just last 10 times longer. All right, so there you guys have it. My everyday no makeup makeup look. Again, appropriate for work. Every day, if you're on the go, you guys, you could do this sitting in your car. Pop into work a little bit early, sit in the parking lot, and just put on this face of makeup. So easy, so fresh, so glowy. Again, you can use the products that you love, swap things out, but you guys, I absolutely love the items that I used for this look. Give me a huge thumbs up if you like this video. Of course, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel before you go, leave me a comment down below and let me know what your quick everyday no makeup makeup routine is. I love you guys so much and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye guys. I have a sunflower seed obsession and for some reason I always max on sunflower seeds before I even get on camera. I don't know what it is. It's like my go-to pre-filming snack and I just feel like I have like seeds and junk just like floating all over my teeth and in my mouth. It's absolutely disgusting. Why do I do this to myself? It is so hot in this room always and it's not even that super hot outside today but my god it makes it so hard for me to create a makeup look for you guys because I feel like I'm starting out with sweaty skin and that is not good. I need a fan in here or something. Everywhere starts to itch, everywhere. I feel like I can't like, my nose itches, my nose ring starts to itch. No, I'm not picking my nose. God, I'm sweating. All right, let's get into it.